Hi everyone, welcome to Chorus House. Today, an exciting day, the R12 Chameleon is here. Okay everyone, first thing, just look around the box, no damage, unlike last time where we had the Dralia hanger sticking out through the side of the box on the R9. This one is not damaged whatsoever, so they've obviously packaged it a little bit different. I also noticed that they've got a branded box now. I'm just going to open it up. I'm so excited. Okay, what have we got? Wow, pretty well wrapped frame there. Looks like some handlebars. Not sure what that is. Could be a seat post. Uh, there's some packages down there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lift it up. Put it on the famous red table. Yeah, all the stuff's out on the table. We've got some nice goodies. Um, but one thing I have noticed in the box is there's now this, um, where the Dralia hanger would uh, go. So they've obviously listened to customers and they've put an extra bit of protection there um, so it didn't come out through the side of the box. But looking at the bike, it's not actually on there anyway. All right, let's get unwrapped and then we can have a look okay so we've unwrapped the bike and um, we'll have a look at those shortly all the stuff i don't know what it is yet but i just want to take you around the bike now the first thing that i notice is it's really light really light another thing is it is pre-rooted we've got little plastic uh, draw cables in for there um yeah they go i can feel them and I can hear them. Those ends are taped and the other ends I can't see. But we'll have a look around it anyway. It's very shiny. Oh. Um, you may notice it doesn't have Kara's House logo on it. Um, I spoke to Jasmine and I said just to get it early, you like to save it uh, being delayed some more, we'll dispense with the logo and we'll just have the bike please. So I've got to say it looks like it's been it looks like the manufacturing is better i wasn't keen on this shape at first just this this area i wasn't keen on it i preferred the dropped uh, seat stays it's really shiny wow so it's come with a spacer obviously it doesn't fit that well because there's no bottom bracket hanger there that's i'm assuming in the bag this area is has been sanded or something well there is a raised lip there where the paint is but these holes look like they'll be big enough that is on and the bolts are not damaged these are cool those are all cool and the paint the paint job looks superb I'm very impressed very impressed okay onto the forks let's just look on the back here looks cool i don't think that's anything to uh, it's got a little defect there, but I'm not really bothered about that. Forks look good. Really shiny. Look. Wow. Like a mirror. Yeah, the ends are good. And I've actually got threads this time, which is a bonus. Again, the paint. Paint work is really good on those ends. Really impressed. That's really good. I'm already thinking this is... The manufacturing has been up to not. This hole's at the back, which may cause us some problems. Seat post, we've got measurements on it. 10, zero, minimum insert. Uh, on the top, we've got a setup for round rails. And we can shift that fore and aft and we can tilt it. And it's kind of got an interesting shape. Handlebars, these are, and it's actually got it stamped on, look. Reach 80, drop 120. They are 400 wide and 120 mil stem. Um, as we can see, they are pre-threaded pipes in. Pipes? Yeah, there they are. And more words, but they just feel better. It feels lighter. Let's have a look at these gaps. Mm, maybe the hole is a little bit small still. Not sure. These are the version 2 bars. And we've got to get out of there brake cable and 
two DR2 wires on one of the sides. Clamps both sides. Looks nice. It's got the Yolio name on the front. Yolio. Yep, already they look pretty cool. So I'll just open up all this paperwork stuff and we'll see what we've got there. Okay, so in this baggie we have a range of goods. Uh, we'll start with this one. These are the spacers for under the headset. Various sizes. So we have the one from, for underneath the stem itself. That looks like 10 mil. So we've got a 3 mil, having just measured it. A 5 mil, a 10 mil, and the actual one for on top of the uh, bearing sits on the frame. Now they all interlock. And the little nodules fit into underneath the handlebars to lock it in place. They split apart. Like this. So you've got this ball. And on the other end you've got like a hook. So you just put them into each other. Like that. And so you can easily add them or take them out. And they all lock in together which is really cool. Uh, moving on, we have a seat post gasket. We have two rear derailleur hangers, which includes the thread for the through axle. We have a rubber DI2 battery seat post holder. We have a seat post clamp. We have four little grommets. We have a carbon rail uh, seat post adapter. We have the split compression ring. We have a little cable stop. I believe this is for the rear brake on the frame. And they all come in this lovely Yolio blue bag. Moving over we have another Yolio lovely blue bag. We've got a bearing race for the forks. We've got two bearings and a compression plug. I won't be using that one. I'll be using my own. Uh, the bearings are the same. P16, uh, 52 times 7 times 45 degrees. Moving up, we have the through axles. So uh, starting with the bottom one, it's 166 mil long. It's an M12 with a 1.5 pitch thread, and the thread length is 16 mil. The front axle is 120.5 long. It is M12. It is a 1.5 pitch thread with a 10 mil thread and last but not least over here we have the cycling computer um, a nice little bit of carbon there with a slot in it and all the gubbins and um, there's the instructions as you can see it fits underneath the handlebars um, well we can put a gopro on there or a torch it's going to be pretty cool so that will come in handy for recording rides. Okay, so in the rest of the bag, we have in this envelope, it looks like uh, some frame protector stickers as I'm internal cabled. I probably won't need them, but I can put them on the chain stay maybe to protect it from the chain slap. We have a checklist of, what, of all the things they've given me. So um, I'll be checking that off. And we also had this, which is quite interesting. We've got a load of transfers, but we've got R9. Not sure why. Perhaps they made this for me um, when I ordered my R9. And they've just sent me the sheet again, which is really cool because I don't have any transfers on. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to get these on. That's what we had in the package. I hope they're silver. That'd be great. Um, I forgot to weigh everything. I was so excited. I just forgot. So we've zeroed that up and we're going to weigh the seat post. So we'll put it over and the seat post comes in at 264 grams. It is zeroed and the handlebars come in at 429 grams. Forks, they weigh 383. Hold on, what's that? There's a number three here. What is this? Three, three years warranty? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Didn't even notice that before. It either comes out at 999 or 1000. So let's just say a kilo for the frame. So we've got all of that, all of those parts, the frame, the box. 
so we better get building. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thumbs up if you like the channel, and we will see you in the build series. Take care, bye.